I first got involved with exotic animals in 1990 when I moved to Texas to open a restaurant. And when looking through the classified ads, I'd see ads that would say lions, tigers, leopards for sale. So I wanted to go and see. Being the animal lover that I am, I wanted to go and see. And that is how I discovered the exotic animal trade. I moved back home to San Diego in 1998, and um, my husband and I actually helped some leopards in Texas. We thought we were helping the leopards by um, building an enclosure. And the deal was the lady would spay and neuter the leopards. It wasn't three months later and the leopards were bred again. So that is when we decided we ourselves would start Lions, Tigers and Bears. We have 94 gorgeous acres and right now we're using about 20. Located in East San Diego, we're right at the base of the mountains at about 4,000 feet. It's an absolutely gorgeous place to come and visit. Right now we have uh, 55 rescued animals, 17 different species from tigers, lions, mountain lion, leopard, bears, a serval, horses, miniature horse, goats, sheep, lots of critters. Lions, Tigers, and Bears is one of very few accredited big cat and bear sanctuaries in the United States. And what an accredited sanctuary is, it means we do not buy, we do not breed, we do not sell, we do not trade animals. We strictly rescue, provide a lifetime home with quality care where the animal can live out their life in dignity. The first cats that we rescued were Raja and Natasha, and they were backyard pets. The man actually bought them as a gift for his wife, and then they got divorced, and he just did not want his wife to have the animals. He housed them in a six by 12, five years at least, no shade, no shelter. So after being in the newspaper, threatening the U.S. Fish and Wildlife that he would just shoot the cats and there would be no problem, he finally decided that he would surrender the cats, and we brought them here to Lions, Tigers, and Bears. The animals that we've rescued here at Lions, Tigers, and Bears have gone from deplorable conditions living in like a 6 by 12 or a 10 by 10 on a concrete floor, never touching dirt, to living here where they get to see the blue sky without a cage on the top, run in the grass, romp in the pools. They get fed good quality food with quality vet care. They get attention. They're very spoiled once they, once they come here. So we like to say they go from rags to riches. This is the existing bear habitat right here, and this is where the new six acre bear habitat is going to be located right here. It's actually right over there. Lions, Tigers, and Bears is accredited by Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries and the American Sanctuary Association. We're also a Better Business Bureau charity. We always say if you're going to give to a sanctuary, please give to the accredited ones. A lot of the unaccredited sanctuaries are actually the problem in the exotic animal trade in our country. <coughs> our biggest need is funds to build more habitats. We have lots of unused, beautiful land, and if we could build more habitats while we're getting the legislation through to stop the exotic animal trade, we could provide hundreds of animals a lifetime home. If you would like to come and visit Lions, Tigers, and Bears, you could just go to our website, www.lionstigersandbears.org. All visits are done by appointment. We usually do them Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday mornings. We also do a lot of corporate events out here. You can also come and stay the night at Lions, Tigers, and Bears. We've got a great little two-bedroom guest house. It's just steps away from the lions. You can hear the big cats all night. It's just a really enjoyable way to come spend some time with the animals.